biggest fight. Yeah, the biggest ever. Ever. It's on pace to be the biggest fight ever. Yes, and we're involved. <laughs> we're involved, right? We're involved. All those big chefs, all the biggest athletes in the world. The announcement of an intense fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson has sparked a wide range of reactions from the internet and the boxing community. For those who don't know, Netflix is making a significant foray into the world of combat sports by securing a groundbreaking boxing mega event. This event will feature Tyson squaring off against Jake Paul. Gabe Spitzer, VP of nonfiction sports for Netflix, said in a statement, Mike Tyson is one of the biggest icons in boxing history and Jake Paul is one of the biggest disruptors in boxing history. Saturday, July 20th will be pure drama in the ring in Texas. We are thrilled to partner with most valuable promotions for this historic event and we can't wait for these two to face off for fans all across the world on Netflix. In 2020, Jake Paul stepped into the boxing ring to face off against none other than former NBA sensation Nate Robinson, setting the stage for an electrifying undercard event. Meanwhile, the legendary Mike Tyson headlined the main event, adding to the anticipation and and excitement of the night. Paul said, It's crazy to think that in my second pro fight, I went viral for knocking out Nate Robinson on Mike Tyson's undercard. Now, less than four years later, I'm stepping up to face Tyson myself to see if I have what it takes to beat one of boxing's most notorious fighters and biggest icons. Furthermore, Paul stated that within a mere two and a half years since the inception of MVP, they were on the verge of organizing the biggest fight in history. He highlighted that this event was scheduled to take place in the largest NFL stadium in the United States. Paul added, Added, within just two and a half years of founding MVP, we're about to produce the biggest fight in history, a fight in the biggest NFL stadium in the US, broadcast live on the biggest streaming platform in the world, a testament to all we've accomplished in such a short amount of time. Jake Paul tweeted about the promotion of the upcoming fight, stating that honestly, it doesn't require much promotion due to its magnitude. He described it as the biggest fight of the 21st century, taking place in the largest NFL stadium in the US and being broadcast live on the world's largest streaming platform, reflecting the MVP way. Paul said, if I'm being honest, it doesn't need that. The biggest fight of the 21st century in the biggest NFL stadium in the US broadcast live on the biggest streaming platform in the world. That's the MVP way. Whether you're tuning in on Netflix or showing out in person, whether you're Team Paul or Team Tyson, or whether you're a lifelong boxing fan or watching your first fight, you're not going to want to miss this event. Expressing his excitement, Paul mentioned that this was his chance to prove himself against the greatest heavyweight champion, the most intimidating figure in boxing, and looked forward forward to the challenge, even expressing his ambition to put Iron Mike to sleep. He added, I could not be more excited to make this amazing fight available to all Netflix subscribers alongside the hardest hitter of all time, Mike Tyson, on Saturday, July 20th. My sights are set on becoming a world champion, and now I have a chance to prove myself against the greatest heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and the most dangerous boxer of all time. Time to put Iron Mike to sleep. On the other hand, Mike Tyson expressed his eagerness about entering the ring with Jake Paul. Tyson said, I'm very very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a GOAT. Tyson referred to the event as a full circle moment, highlighting that it would be extremely exciting to witness. He noted that he was the one who initiated Paul's boxing journey by featuring him on the undercard of his fight with Roy Jones, and now he intends to conclude it. Tyson added, It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch. As I start him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones, and now I plan to finish him. The announcement of a fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson has elicited a variety of reactions from prominent figures in sports and entertainment, reflecting the wide spectrum of public opinion on celebrity boxing matches. KSI, a British YouTuber and rapper who has himself ventured into the boxing ring, expressed disappointment. He tweeted, 50 plus years old, no one wanted this. So sad to see the man. It captures a sentiment held by some boxing purists and fans who believe that such matches matchups might not hold true sporting value and could tarnish the legacy of revered athletes like Tyson. In contrast, Amanda Serrano, a highly respected professional boxer and mixed martial artist from Puerto Rico, seemed intrigued by the event's potential spectacle, tweeting, What an event! Things that make me go, hmm. Serrano's reaction could reflect the view of those within the industry who see the entertainment and business value in such unconventional matchups, recognizing their ability to draw attention and new audiences to the sport of boxing. Robert Griffin III, an American football quarterback, Back, also weighed in with a tweet that appears to acknowledge Mike Tyson's enduring strength and presence in the ring despite his age. He tweeted, Fighting Mike Tyson at 57 will be easy, but Mike Tyson at 57. He shared this video. <laughs>
This reaction might hint at the respect and caution many still hold for Tyson's capabilities, pointing out that despite being in his late 50s, Tyson is not to be underestimated. Meanwhile, TMZ reporter Shannon Person tweeted, Mike Tyson did tell me he was down to fight again, saying, I can be persuaded, so it's not shocking he's getting in the ring with Jake Paul this July. This statement reinforces the notion that Tyson, despite his age and time spent away from professional competition, remains interested in these high-profile exhibition matches, especially when they involve significant financial and entertainment value. Here is what Mike said. Well, I'm, I'm just chilling out. I, I did that, you know, I wanted to do that. I did that. And people in, um, also in Saudi Arabia wants me to do this stuff too. I don't know. Um, I could be persuaded. On the other side, Dylan Danis directed a comment towards Jake Paul, critiquing the age difference between Paul and Tyson. Danis tweeted, You're fighting someone who was born in 1966. Have some shame. This reflects a sentiment shared by some in the combat sports community that Paul's choice of opponents, often older or from different sporting backgrounds, may not provide the most legitimate test of his boxing skills. Sports journalist Michael Benson relayed a compelling narrative angle on X, quoting Tyson, I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones Jr., and now I plan to finish him. This tweet captures the intriguing full-circle moment this fight represents, Tyson acknowledging his unintentional role in Paul's boxing career and setting the stage for a dramatic showdown that both participants and fans will find captivating. While this fight is confirmed now, Tyson previously disagreed to fight Paul. When questioned about squaring off against Jake Paul, Tyson responded with the following statement, No way! I'm not fighting nobody, I'm just chilling! Meanwhile, Tyson believes that the transition of Jake Paul from internet sensation to pugil has ultimately enhanced the sport's appeal. Tyson said, Jake Paul, he's not a villain. He's an anti-hero, he's not a villain. He does hero shit, but he just doesn't go by hero laws. Listen, he did more for boxing than some of the champions did. I'm a fan of people who know how to put ass in seats. Logan Paul actually does some wild He's yeah, really he, good. He, he, he does some wild He really does. does. Jumping off the top ropes and slamming into each other in yeah. the middle, like, that's yeah. some serious yeah. athleticism. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell him, both those kids are half tough. Very tough. Yeah. Yeah. Take yeah. nothing away from them. No, I, I mean, people want to take something away from them because they're YouTube people. I always tell people, watch, just forget that Jake Paul is a YouTube guy and watch him box. Yeah. The kid can fight. 100%. Yeah. That Tommy Fury fight yeah. really showed that. I mean, it goes to a split decision against a legit undefeated boxer. Yeah. He doesn't want to tell you what the one thing he doesn't want to do is fight Mike. No. He wants to fight Mike, I think. Why? I don't know. I don't give a f if he's 55, that's still Mike Tyson. My, my, Mike's in good shape too. Oh my God. Mike trains every day. He trains with- Overall, Mike Tyson is set to face Jake Paul, and this encounter transcends the physical match. It's a clash of eras, philosophies, and boxing ideologies. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.